Hey guys, this is Gigi with Gigi's Fabric Shop and JukiJunkies.com. Thanks for tuning, tuning in to our YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe when you get a chance. Today we are going to be discussing how to oil the Juki 1541 when you first receive it and also after you start using it. So let's take a look at all the different points of where you're going to oil this. to discuss with you guys what actually dries up your machine. Number one, let's start from the very beginning. While it's traveling to you, really traveling can actually cause it to dry. So weather, whether it's cold or hot outside. So when you initially receive it, we want to make sure that we lubricate the machine in all different points. And I will be showing you that here in just a second. While you're using the machine, you want to make sure you oil her a good indication is of eight hours to of, of use. Another thing that could dry up your hook area, which I will cover that here in details um, in just a minute, is just a dry room. Cold weather, hot weather, those kind of things will dry up your machine. Um, if it's sitting in place for a while, let's say you go on vacation, if you're lucky to go on vacation for three weeks or four weeks, when you come back to that machine, you wanna oil her again, so most likely it could dry up. So let's break down where to oil her. So I wanted to encourage you guys to follow the link under the description in this video um, for the manual, which is on our website. Um, you wanna follow, you wanna go probably from page, I believe it's page 16, 15, 16, and 17. There's a great indicator there with a visual picture, but let's go over it here. First, we have one wick. This is the first wick that we have here. So you want to make sure that wick is always wet. And if you could zoom in there, you will see it. And basically just a couple of drops, make sure it's wet, okay? The other one is this little red dot right here. So we wanna do a couple of drops in there. And if you over oil it, it's just going to leak. So, so don't worry about it. You can always clean it up with some scraps. And then this one here, very important, this one, I actually just oiled it, but what you wanna do is put the oiling pen here and you want to make sure that you have this felt to be nice and wet. And you're not gonna see it now because I already have it all wet, but you will see the difference between a dry felt and a moist felt. Okay, so now we are gonna be on the bottom of the machine. So first thing first is you're gonna to wanna to tilt back your machine. Number one step to tilting your machine back is you wanna make sure the knee lifter is off your machine. So as you can see, we have no knee lifter because if you have the knee lifter on there, it's gonna be connected right here, not allowing you to tilt your machine back. Number two is you wanna make sure that you have this peg back here so when your machine's tilted back, that it rests on the peg and your machine doesn't fall off the hinges. All right, so now we're down here on the bottom. There is a wick on the right side right here. And as long as that wick is got some oil on it, you can just squeeze on it. If it feels like if there's plenty of oil on there, then you should be good to go. If there's not and it's dry, you need to put some oil on that wick. And that'll self oil once you have oil on the wick. Number two is this oiling container right here. As you can see, there is two lines. There's a low and there's a high. You wanna make sure that it's right at the high or right in between the high and the low. You don't want it to ever be too low. You can oil that area by doing these, this hole right here. You just pop this off with your nail like that, comes right off and you can use your oiling uh, little pin thing like that and just fill it up until it's at the high. You don't need to do it because we're already a little bit high. So if we fill it, overfill it too much, what we can do is we could take out this one right here and we could just tilt it, the machine down and it'll drain some out and then tilt it back and check it and make sure that you need, if you need to add some, you can add some. If you need to drain some, you can drain some. Um, so that's one way to oil that area. There's also another spot right here you can oil that area. You could pop this cap right here and just oil that. That'll also drain down to there. So as long as it's in between the high and the low or right at the high, you are good to go. All right, now we're going to make sure that we oil the hook assembly area. And I like doing this area with an oiling pen because I like to be specific. So basically what you're gonna do is, this is the one that gets dried pretty quickly. And I usually try to oil this every six to eight hours of use. So I'm just gonna do that. And then I move my hand wheel so that this can kind of get all lubricated. Now we're gonna do the side. The first thing you wanna make sure is that you release this screw right here, unscrew that, and you're gonna open this little door. And you have felt tips in here that, need to, that you need to make sure that stay moist. This is not something that you do every day. You have a felt 
right here, you have one over here, then you have a little bit here, and then you have over here. You wanna make sure those stay moist. This is not something that you do all the time. You just wanna check on them periodically. And then don't forget this little wick all the way up here. You wanna make sure that that one is nice and moist. And this is all on page 15 in and, your manual. And if you guys haven't oiled your machine in a very long time, or it's been sitting there for a very long time, and you're, you're thinking that you're gonna have to oil a little, a little bit more, this is another step you can take if you wanna go a little bit above and beyond. There's gonna be six screw holes, one here, one here, one here, one here, one here, and one here. What you're gonna do is you're just gonna unscrew all six of those screw holes. You're gonna go ahead and pick this lid up like so. And as you can see, you're just gonna be able to access these wicks a little bit better with the cap off. So you can just touch up all the wicks, touch up all these little cotton swab areas and make sure that they're well oiled. And that way you can assure that your whole machine is very nicely oiled and ready to go. So this is just a little bit further by taking off this cap, you're gonna be able to access a little bit more and you're gonna be able to make sure everything is oiled properly. So David is just putting it all back together, all six screws, make sure that you put this baby back together. Okay guys, just wanted to reiterate real quick, make sure that you are oiling that hook assembly area every six to eight hours of use. Remember, it's metal meets metal, so you wanna make sure that's always lubricated. Um, that's gonna be the one that you're gonna be doing on a daily basis, but the all overall spots where you're gonna be oiling up here and all that is really when you first get it. Um, and just kind of for maintenance every once in a while, you wanna check those wick areas on the top and the bottom. Um, and on the side. And also make sure you're looking at your reservoir area. If it's high or low, make sure you're taking care of that. But remember, you're not oiling this every day, it's just the hook area. Thanks for watching our video. I hope you guys liked it. Make sure that you like our video, please. And if you'd like to see us a little bit more often, go ahead and subscribe. The link to the oils that we prefer are on um, the link below.